this can sometimes happen to you as well where you get a little bit low and then if you're too low as a raw bench what ends up happening is that Today we're going to talk about the touch point of the bench a little bit. So a common issue I see primarily with raw bench presses is that they will typically go a little bit low. And this was an experience that I had uh, at being a quip lifter and then transitioning over to a meet I did raw. It's very easy to start to adopt more of that equip groove, stay low. And even if you've never been an equip lifter, you never used a bench shirt, this can sometimes happen to you as well, where you get a little bit low, and then if you're too low as a raw bench, what ends up happening is that you're almost like trying to do a front raise to get it back into groove. You're not able to get a good tight tucked underneath position that we need off the chest in order to groove that bar very well. So I'm gonna show you the poor position, getting a little bit too low, what happens there, the mechanics of the lift, and then what happens if we can just adjust that touch point up a little bit. And I've seen some really great results with our athletes um, where they were touching a little bit low, had them bring just the touch point up a little bit, positioning's better, bar speed's better. Seen this across the board with many who I thought have been touching a little bit low, better positioning under bar, more explosive lifts. So one of the common positional issues that we see with touching too low is you'll end up what I call a dump touch. So if you're coming down too low, right, your forearms end up out in front. To make it real dramatic for you, it's like this. So if I was to press forward, right, everything would be coming out here. All right, I'm not in a good position tucked under to throw back. Okay, you'll also see my shoulders start to come undone a little bit. My shoulder blades drift up. All right, so we want to try to avoid that. That's a big issue with touching too low is that that ends up happening. The other thing I typically see is with touching too low, it's, it's caused as well by over tucking the elbows. And we have a lot of great educational videos on how to fix over tucking the elbows, but you'll see lifters lead with the elbows or tuck too low, very much like an equipped groove, and they'll be low, and then they're in a poor position to throw that bar back. You can also see the more I try to bend under the bar, watch my wrist roll. Or if I tuck too much, my wrist roll back. I can't really keep my hand straight. Okay, so I'm gonna have all those issues when I go to press the bar. Okay, what we'd like to see is if you bring that touch point up, a lot of times you're gonna see a fix in a lot of these issues. So, for example, if we're in a bit of a dump touch, if we just touch a little bit higher, I'm in a much better position now. I could just press back. Okay, so again, if I'm low to make it dramatic, if I bring the touch point up, boom, fire right back. So for a raw lift, they're using a higher groove is typically going to be a good solution. All right, also for over tucking, if you can fix that up too, all right, keep it higher, then it's, it's weird if you're here. If you take a higher groove with it, if you over tuck with it, now you're really out of position, you're gonna feel that. So you're gonna make that switch, okay? Everyone's gonna be a little bit different, but I'd say right under that, that nipple line, right under um, right where your sternum ends, all right, is a good place to aim. If you're going any lower, you might be venturing on the side of too low. So play around with that groove. See if bringing the touch point up feels stronger to you. See if you get better positioning that way. And then that should help correct a lot of the things that we see going on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Check out the links in the description box below. You can see a video related on this topic right here. And then our latest video right there. Thanks for watching.